Hey guys, it's Pop Freak. Hey guys, Pop Freak. Wait, hold on. Yeah, it's Pop Freak, guys. Today's video is gonna be called, oh, today's video is gonna be called Hellfest Movie Ending Explained. Spoiler warning, so let's get started. Okay, guys, so today's video is sponsored by Atom. It's a code that I'm gonna give away. You can get up to five dollars off one movie ticket offered on a Tom Hellfest. You have to download this app, a Tom Tickets app at atomtickets.com. So go to that website. Here's the code. I know you guys like video reading, so that's why I did this. This is the code. Yeah. I'll, I'll go over it. It's 6 N W B X J 5 3 So yeah, anyway, guys. That's today's sponsor video. Now let's get into the movie review. Okay, guys. So title. Hellfest movie ending explained. Spoiler warning. So you have three seconds in three, two, one. Boom. You had your time. Now get on out of here. Okay, so what happens is in the ending, it means you can never trust nobody because of the end. So what happens is the killer went home and has a secret cabinet that's locked. And he's been killing for four or five years, judging by how much masks he has in there. So yeah, in the beginning they said like four years late after, four years before Hellfest, four years before Hellfest, a woman was murdered in Hellfest. Or orange fest, I think. And has a bunch, and he has a bunch of masks, like a pig and other ones. He has a kid. He's a dad, basically. And it's a, it's a little girl. It's a girl. And then it ends, and we do not know. We do not know what his face is because we don't see his face. So yeah, guys, this is just my scene of the movie. Could be wrong. But, yeah, I got this information from websites, my personal head, and YouTube. So, yeah, guys, now let's get into posters and popcorn buckets. Since posters I printed out of school, I printed out um, Victor Crowley, Hatchet 4, Uncaged. I really want to see that movie. Leatherface, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3, Strangers Pray at Night. And I did print one more. It's Hellfest, and I made this the Hellfest Killer. I'm not that good at drawing, but I tried. It. But now let's get into the posters. I have a Meg. I have a Meg. The Meg poster. It's pretty big. Which you probably know what it is. It's when the sharks in the water, all the people on the sh boats and they're trying to swim away. That's the picture of it. And it says, "Please to eat you." Yeah, please to eat you. And this is a poster that I got at school. My, my one of my teachers goes to theaters and helps me gain posters I need. So it's the one. It's the Hockey, the movie, Battle of Ten Seconds. I think it's like a hawk. It's like a um, oh, I forget, like a it's that ball that you hit in the air. I forget what it's called. Hmm. Yeah, I forget what it's called. You guys can tell me in the comments below. It's like soft. I think it's softball. No, not softball. Oh, forget the name. But guys, now let's get into post popcorn buckets. So first of all, these popcorn buckets weren't supposed to come out yet. It's my first tin. I'll get to that last. But the first thing I have is the Venom Cup. It says movie club right here. Yeah, I like the Venom Cup in the bottom. And here's the tin I got. See? <laughs> it's pretty cool. So yeah guys, this has been an episode of Pop Freak, don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Pop Freak YT, double F, I mean no, follow me on Instagram, Pop Freak YT, one F.
Follow me on Stashpedia, Pop Freak YT Double X. Hit the bell, join the Funko group so you can get the notice late for the latest notification on when Pop videos are uploaded. Movie reviews, movie unboxings, unboxings on stuff, poster, poster hauls, and much more. So yeah, guys, it's been an episode of Pop Freak, guys. Thank you all for watching.